when I met my husband, I'd already used drugs, married quite young, um, about four months after my 18th birthday. Uh, just after my youngest was born, I was with somebody who was dabbling in um, heroin. He spent a month trying to convince me not to because he was um, concerned I'd get an addiction. Um, and in the end gave in, and I had a bit, and behold, about two weeks later I was hooked to it. Sally, not a real name, is a mother of six children. Her heroin addiction lasted seven years and led her to work the streets as a sex worker and eventually to deal drugs herself. Her children were taken into custody by her ex-husband and she would see them sporadically. I'd suddenly appear and then I wouldn't appear, you know, and obviously that affected the children because I didn't know when they were going to see them from one week to the next. By the end of my using, I was doing at least £100 of heroin um, and £100 of crack a day. The lowest point, I suppose, would have been either um, when I went to jail um, or when I nearly had my arm am amputated. And my only concern was how would I inject myself. In 2004, she admitted herself into rehab and began the long road to recovery. Though she relapsed a few times after leaving, she did eventually manage to get clean and started spending more time with her kids. My um, ex-partner... Um, allowed one of my boys to come live with me. Um, I had him for about a year, and then my other boy come to live with me. But then we had issues um, regarding with where the children were going to live, and we decided enough was enough, and we needed to sort this out once for all. So the kids were stable. Sally was lucky to find Nigel Humphreys, a legal aid family lawyer who took on her case and helped to sort out custody issues. His firm also enabled her to access specialist educational help for her two elder sons. Family lawyers are leaving legal aid in droves over the last seven years. Over a third of them have dropped out of providing legal aid services. The new system of paying legal aid lawyers a fixed fee rather than an hourly rate can often deter lawyers from taking on cases like Sally's. My colleague had to spend over 20 hours working on Sally's education issues. We received a fixed fee of £160. So from our point of view, that was quite uneconomic. With the continuing exodus of family legal aid lawyers, it's much more difficult for vulnerable mothers to access this kind of advice. Sally is one of the lucky ones. The Iceni project in Ipswich works with drug users in a similar situation. In their experience, none of their clients, who are sex workers, have managed to rebuild their families in the way that Sally has. If a child is going to be removed, you know, the adoption process is very harrowing anyway for the parents, and um, they can be left high and dry with no support. Once the kid's removed, the children's services withdraw, and the, and the, and the parents are just left to grieve and cope with their loss on their own. It's hugely empowering for a mother to be able to keep her children or, or get her children back from care. Sally is a positive role model and what she's done is she's shown that regardless of her drug abuse, regardless of her choice of employment, she has been able to turn her life around. Life can be a bit struggle at times but I don't know, if I, if I hadn't had the professional help that I'd had then I don't think I'd have my children.